Poppins and welcome back for another video with your girl Shalinda One. Okay guys, so in this video we will be reviewing this new Hattie Batu this new foundation from Maybelline and this is their Super Stay Full Coverage um, Complete Foundation. Uh, up to 24 hours foundation. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm telling you now, I won't know nothing about that because I would never leave a foundation on my face for 24 hours. This color is in 355 Coconut and this is their darkest color. Yep. Okay, it says full coverage foundation up to 24 hours wear, seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable fade and transfer resistant, oil free, doesn't clog pores, dermatologist tested um yeah that's what it says so that is this foundation right here so i definitely wanted to try this just because you guys know how much i love trying foundations and concealers that is my judge so anytime that i'm able to get my hands on like a drugstore foundation that i think that you guys may be interested in as well as being tagged on instagram several times to review is i definitely had to get my hands on it now when i went to my local cvs they did not have it as well as my local Ulta. They did not have it either. I do know it's available on the Ulta website and I got this off of Amazon. And I got this off Amazon for like, with shipping it was like $16. At Target it's $9.99 and at Ulta it's $11.99. So with shipping it was like $16 from Amazon I believe from Ulta with shipping. It came up to like 17 something, I remember 17. But from um, Ulta, it is $11.99. So if you can't get it, if you can't find it, it is cheap enough to go ahead and place your order on it. Uh, however, is it worth you paying your coins? So I tried the foundation. I have it on right now. I definitely will reserve my opinions to it after, at the end of the video. But right now, let's get right into the demo. Right here go okay so on the first side what you want to see is I dot I put about three pumps on the back of my hand and then I split my face I wanted to see how it apply with the brush as well and then how it apply with my beauty blender I use my it cosmetics perfect foundation brush okay, where is it? my it cosmetics heavenly skin skin perfecting brush i actually really like this for foundation so i use that on one side and on the other side i use my beauty blender what i noticed from the first side of the um with my brush is that it blended quite well however i noticed that maybe with my um primer that it may have moved a little bit because after i applied it i did see once i kept blending I did feel like I had some type some spots that was like missed and it was more of like the foundation moving on the other side when I used my beauty blender that definitely gave me way more full coverage which is ironic because usually you don't get a full full coverage with your beauty blender you usually get your full 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 coverage more with a brush and your beauty blender is then used to kind of just pat away some of the excess foundation that may be like on the top of your skin so I found that kind of odd it's not like I use more foundation on one side than the other however I did notice that it blended it was definitely more sheer with the um, brush with that being said it's crazy but I actually like the finish with the brush more than I did the beauty blender which is I which is weird because you guys know Mini, me and Beauty Blender got a love thing, and I absolutely love my Beauty Blender, so I was really surprised by that. So then I wanted to see for you guys, is it full coverage? Is it really full? Is that full coverage? And I show you here one side of the brush, one layer, and then the other side of, with the um, Beauty Blender, just one layer. I actually prefer the side with the brush more. I was, I was actually quite surprised. It just gave me a, a not so so thick almost cakey look or more of a everyday you can get away with wearing this absolute full coverage foundation 
with the brush. When I applied it with the Beauty Blender, it was it was almost like the makeup that I would wear if I'm going out. The brush is more appropriate if I'm going to just do my go to work and things like that and I still wanted a full coverage. Then afterwards, I wanted to see is this buildable? For some people who may like that really thick, you know, that really completely flawless finish and or uh, coverage. And I will say it is buildable. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend it, but it is buildable without getting too much. I do feel like, I don't feel like there's nothing on my face. I don't, I can feel it, but it's not like a heavy, uncomfortable wear. With that being said, would I recommend it? The answer is yes, I will recommend this for anyone who actually is on a drugstore budget. Um, want to find a matte finish with full coverage because this is definitely full coverage. I'll definitely give it that. Um, this is a little bit more matte than I typically like. However, it's very wearable and I'm very okay with this. I feel like I could just go and add some of my um, Sonia Kushik, um, like my, my glow spray or something like that and I would get exactly what I was looking for. So even this right here, I'm okay with. And all I did was spray. I didn't even actually um, put any of my Ofra setting spray. Today I used my Mario Skin Finish, my Skin Care um, Facial Spray, which can I just say, loving. So actually with that alone, I actually felt quite okay. Is it thick? Yes. Um, what skin type would I recommend for this? I would say, you guys know I'm pretty normal to dry and I don't feel like it necessarily grabbed on any dryness even though I don't have a lot of actual dry patches to my skin. The only thing I will say is that it, to me, it emphasizes your pores. If you have pores, it doesn't like diffuse anything. It, to me, this doesn't give you like a filtered finish in comparison to like Fenty Beauty Foundation or even the um, Huda, Huda Beauty Foundation. They both seem to give somewhat of a filtered look. This definitely do does not. This actually reminds me of um, not as heavy as a Kat Von D foundation, but similar. You know, you know a foundation that definitely is full coverage has a you know the consistency is a little thick but not necessarily creamy as stuff it definitely still has some movement to it as you can see here to me I don't see necessarily red in this foundation I definitely see a lot of orange in this foundation which believe it or not I'm okay with I wouldn't be mad if they added just like a lid like a like a drop of yellow in here a little bit more yellow that would make me very happy and then extend the ranges I mean my god if this can't be after all this time I know you know they're on social media and they know how upset we are and why they're not coming up with more shades for this to be the darkest shade I am personally offended for my for my fellow um melanin sisters because this is just not going to get it this is the darkest color like i said this is in coconut and i feel like all of their foundations have always stopped in this range and then the end of 2017 you got to come better than that so for you guys who like i said uh, who are looking for what i recommended i'm gonna say yes i wouldn't necessarily not recommend i don't think it's a horrible foundation um for me personally you guys know how i kind of feel that i feel like the older you start to get the less full coverage you should kind of focus on just because I feel like it almost it definitely seeps more into the lines that you might have in your face the pores you might have onto your face and there's nothing worse than looking cakey or overly made up unnecessarily you want something that will give you the coverage that you need especially if you have a lot of pigmentation on your skin but if that is not the case you want to go with something much lighter do I feel like this was blendable enough to take something like this and lightly spread it to still give you a nice finish? That I would say yes. Just because it is so, it's so full coverage that I do believe that you can take a half a pump and apply it and get, you know, if you move fast and you apply it in the, you know, the, the right areas, that you'll still be able to get that, um, 
the coverage you look without being too caked up the way I look right now. So would I recommend it? Yes. Do I hate it? No. Would I reuse and would I repurchase? Which is always the question at the end of the day. And as of right now, I'm going to say no. Not because it's not a good foundation, just because I have more expensive ones in my collection that I personally like to wear more. This did not come along and necessarily like kick anything out of my regular rotation that but it's definitely something that i would add to my kit it's something that i would use for a client on like one of their big events or something like that just because it definitely gives you that full coverage to really give you a a uh, a a a canvas that you can go on top of if you have a lot of discoloration this will actually give you decent coverage it definitely will it doesn't just say full coverage and not be full coverage i have to say it definitely is full coverage i just have a problem with the shade ranges that's like it's like so it's so shady to not have a complete shade range I'm in my feelings about it. I really am. However, as far as the foundation by itself, I actually say it's a pretty decent foundation. I would not recommend two layers though. Either decide if you want a full, full, full coverage. For me, I would use a beauty blender to do that. And if I wanted to share it out, I would definitely go in with my brush and really just do targeted areas and make sure I have a nice finish and do it that way. But that is my experience with this. I definitely encourage you to try it out for yourself. It's cheap enough to try it out for yourself. You know, it's not going to be a real pull on the wallet. So you're not missing anything. And remember, if you get it from Ulta and or CVS and you're not happy, take that baby back. I love you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys so much for watching. Be sure to go absolutely everywhere and follow me at Shalinda1. And I will see you guys on my very next video. Guys, remember, you are bold. You are beautiful. But most importantly, you're blessed. Don't let anyone tell you anything different. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.